audio on demand from Vision Christian Media. Exploring faith and the future. Neil Johnson and Bible teacher, Dr. Camille Majdali. We've been talking about some of those things we can understand when we open that very short but very powerful prophetic Old Testament book called the Book of Joel. Let's talk about the upshot of everything that seems to come to a wonderful crescendo at the end of this book. Camille, God's homecoming in chapter 3. It's an amazing chapter. It's an amazing book called Joel, because remember, Joel Neal teaches us about the day of the Lord. It's not all doom and gloom. Bible prophecy is never all doom and gloom. In fact, it's more a time of contrast. The dark gets darker, but the light gets brighter. And so what you have here is you have a bit of darkness with the calling of the nations, the rebellious nations to the valley of Jehoshaphat. Later on in verse 14 of Joel 3, it says, Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision, for the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. So, yes, it's uh, judgment time. Take stock. Where do you stand before God? And then there's some intriguing verses. It says later, just one verse after, Joel 3.16, The Lord also will roar from Zion and utter his voice in Jerusalem. But what, what is it talking? Isn't God in heaven sitting on a throne with Jesus' right hand? Well, Jesus is at God's right hand, but the time is coming when Jesus will not be at the right hand. Jesus will come down to this planet, not just to have a look or to be the Lamb of God that takes away the sin of the world. He's coming to rule in righteousness and in holiness. The Lord is coming back. Camille, while we talked about all of those calamities, uh, catastrophes, plagues, uh, then we moved into uh, ways in which the people repented, God's restoration. What you're talking about here, a homecoming, is what I guess gives the heart of this uh, prophetic book all about the hope that is to come, that God is going to deliver his people and dwell amongst them. That's exactly right. It's called the kingdom of God. And the kingdom of God has a king. His name is Jesus. First time Jesus walked the earth, he preached the kingdom of God. And whenever there were miracles and the like, the kingdom of God has come near you, upon you, and so on. When you get to the book of Joel, it's speaking about God reigning and dwelling in Zion. For example, Joel 3.17 So you shall know that I am the Lord your God, dwelling in Zion, my holy mountain. Then Jerusalem shall be holy. Now, there is a Jerusalem and Zion in heaven, Hebrews 12, but this is talking about on earth. But if that isn't enough, it basically says the very last part of this whole book of Joel, Joel 3.21, for the Lord dwells in Zion. Now, Neil, how is the Lord going to dwell in Zion? Very simply, in the form of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, Son of God, Son of Man, he became a man, he's the Word that put on flesh, and he's still a man as well as still God, fully God, fully man. When he returns, it's not just he's returning as a man, he's returning as the Lord. And as the Lord, he's going to set up shop in Zion, in Jerusalem, ruling and reigning, as is promised, for a thousand years. For any true believer, this truly is our blessed hope. Faith and the Future with Neil Johnson and Dr. Camille Majdali from Teach All Nations. For more from Dr. Majdali, including books and DVDs on prophecy, Bible commentaries, plus today's and other episodes of Faith and the Future, go to vision.org.au. Thanks for taking time to listen to this audio on demand from Vision Christian Media. To find out more about us, go to vision.org.au.